Come along with Corey and I as we go to Fogo de Chao for some Brazilian cuisine. We'll let you know what we thought of it, and we're also going to stop by one of our favorite Asian stores while we're on that side of town and pick up some goodies. Hey everybody, so Corey and I didn't have anything going on this weekend, which is very rare. Normally I have assignments on the weekend or he's working on projects. We are not going to go camping for a couple of months in the months of like July and August when Texas is at its hottest. So I asked Corey what did he want to do and he said he wanted to go to Fogo de Chao. It's a Brazilian restaurant in the woodlands. So he's been before, I've never been. They serve you all the meat that you can eat and it's like one set price or you can order off the menu. I think there's like 10 different meats to choose from. That Fogo de Chao also has like a, a big salad buffet. So it's not just meat. And while we're on that side of town, we'll probably go ahead and go to one of our favorite Asian markets because we need to get some more of those green onion pancakes. Fogo de Chao is centered on the Woodlands Waterway in the Woodlands, Texas. It's a very charming little place and it was very impressive inside. I was very excited because not only did we get to participate in the standard all-you-can-eat experience, but they also had a leftover brunch buffet sitting out that we were able to participate in at no additional fees. They had things like a wa waffle station, an omelet station. It was really nice. Sirloin and that's a pork chop. Mashed potatoes, yuca, plantain. Mm, yuca. Plantains. Mm -hmm. Plantains. Yum. Yeah. It's good. Trying to pace myself. Yeah, no I just doubt. got some roasted peppers, olives, caprese, oh, some cheeses, some the biggest lima beans mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Or what do you call those butter beans? Oh, and roasted garlic. What did you get? Some black beans, a little salad, watermelon with feta and jalapeno, roasted peppers, and asparagus, and some cheese and meat. I didn't even see the asparagus. The best part are the Brazilian bites. Mm -hmm. We get these in the frozen food section. They're like half the size. I can't wait to try this. Uh, no, that's good. Thank you. I'll take it. Thank you. Hold on. I'm trying to get stuck on the bottom. <laughs> because it melts all the cheese and it's hard. Oh, okay. So this is Parmesan pork? Parmesan pork. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. A little more season. Oh, thank you. What do you think, babe? It's delicious. I love the pork. This is the pork parmesan. I haven't tried it yet. The other pork was insanely delicious. Do you, do you remember what that was? It was just a pork chop, you said. Okay, this is good. The banana is the best banana I've ever had. Uh, plantains, I think is what they're called. Reminds me of Pollo Tropical and chimichurris in our neck of the woods. But it's just so light and pillowy and fluffy. Um, and I know this place is about the meat, but I love these Brazilian bites with cheese. They're so light and fluffy. I'm going to try not to get full on these. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Did I just grab it? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. You gotta take a small piece. Thank you. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Grilled cheese panini. With honey. It was really good. Love it. Time to turn the card over. <laughs> Even though we were fairly stocked up on our things from our recent Asian market haul, we decided to just pick up a few things while we were on that side of town anyway. We always make sure to hit up the clearance aisle first, and we found some good deals there. And we were looking at the dried wasabi peas that my family likes, and they just have such a nice variety of different sauces. the hunt for our kimchi pancakes and our favorite green onion Vietnamese pancakes as well as the sesame pancakes which weren't at this location unfortunately. They had a nice variety of mochi and boba and my favorite hot chews. Okay babe what was your experience at Fogo de Chow? It was good. It's been years since I've been to one and as good as I remembered. Uh, you know, I don't think the price is all that bad, but I thought it was pretty darn good and it's a nice day out today. It's going to get really warm, but at least we got out early. That's true. That was my first time to be to go to a Fogo de Chow. It was good, but if you've got any kind of sensory issues like I do, it's very overwhelming. If you can think of a drive-by buffet, they're coming at you from a hundred different directions. In fact, if you see the video, if it looks like I'm looking all over the place, it's, they're literally coming from everywhere offering you food. And I just, I'm not a huge meat eater. So, uh, hello. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so, but it was, it was good. One thing that, um, I that I really like is that they cater to the specific cut of meat that you like. Corey likes everything kind of rare, medium rare. I like things well done. I like them crispy. And they were very accommodating. If they asked me if I wanted to cut a meat and I said, can you crisp it up? They would go do it and come right back. So it was nice. I think dessert should have been included. I kind of like my sweets. And for the price, it was like about $55 a person. Uh, it'd be cool if desserts were included. But other than that, I had a great time our vegetarian daughter's away so yeah. they're away so time we thought yeah time to be a carnivore and go get our meat eating on so hope y'all are doing well we'll see you next time bye guys and happy father's day everybody bye, bye. bye guys